When your pet gets sick, it's stressful. Finding help doesn't have to be. Count on Animal Emergency Care and Boundary Bay Veterinary Specialty Hospital to care for your furry family members when everyone else is closed. 24 hours, 7 days a week, including holidays. On Meridian in Bellingham. It's Wednesday, that's Critter Day, and once again, Laura Clark joins us via Zoom. (laughs) Hi, Laura. Good morning. Hi, Laura. Good morning, Mandy. Morning. Now, you're in the lobby of the Whatcom Humane Society, and the reception appears to be much better than it was last time. I'm so glad. Well, and we have realized it takes a village here with Cafe Critter. So we have multiple Humane Society staffers assisting us. We have Derek on the Zoom camera, and then soon you're going to meet Megan, one of our animal care folks, and she's working with a shelter dog, and then we've got our staff behind working hard. You can see I've got pet food behind me. We're still collecting pet food for our pet food bank. It's it's just crazy here at the Whatcom Humane Society this morning, but I'm so glad the reception is better. All right. I know it looks backwards because it's my Zoom that we're recording, but I'm wearing my Whatcom Humane Society sweatshirt today. I'm all about free clothes. Thank you for this. (laughs) Nice. You bet. (laughs) So how are things there? Things are okay. It's still just weird. It's quiet without our volunteers. We miss them so much. So volunteers, we miss you. We can't wait for you to come back. You know, our adoption kennels are still closed, but we have animals available for adoption, so that's really confusing for folks. We're Mm -hmm. advertising, hey, meet this animal available for adoption, but you can't come in and meet this animal available for adoption. So what we're hoping is people are still keeping updated on our website and our social media sites about the animals that are going to need homes, and when this stay-at-home order is finally lifted and everybody is safe and can safely come out, we want people to come down and adopt animals. Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, on all of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mm -hmm. so we brought you the one, if we're trying to look for silver linings right now, and you know, usually I come to you folks for Cafe Critter, and that takes a special animal that can come into the studio, Mm -hmm. and we have a lot of animals who just can't handle that pressure, so Mm -hmm. we're able now to focus and feature some of those great animals who may not be cafe critter appropriate for the studio, but are great animals still looking for wonderful homes. So I want to introduce you to one of those yeah. guys today. Okay. Now, why are you ready to meet him? Yeah. Why wouldn't this critter be appropriate for being well, in the studio? He is a oh. bit exuberant. His ah. name is Bram, and he is with. He's with one of his favorite people, one of our animal care techs, Megan, who is teaching him all sorts of fun things and how to be polite. But Graham is a lot of dog. He um, doesn't really know his boundaries very well. He can be a little bit too exuberant with new people and new animals that he meets. And so I know for sure Mandy would appreciate him not coming into the cafe studio. Well. <laughs> but, you know, he's... He's a um, he's a work in progress. I love Graham. He's, he's great, and he's looking for a very active, very experienced dog home. He would love to be a hiking buddy for somebody. He does really well in our daily play groups, although he can be a bit finicky about who he does want to play with, but he tries so hard, and as you can see, <laughs> Megan is putting him through his paces, yeah. and he's a smart boy who just is looking for somebody Aww. to love him. Aww. That's a good smiley tongue mouth shot right there. <laughs> I love the Megan, shiner. Megan, what are you feeding him? Cheese? Cheese and some liver treats. Cheese and liver treats okay. on, a, <laughs> on an early Wednesday morning, so what's not mm. to love about cheese and liver in the morning? Oh, he's a cutie. <laughs> I love he I is. love him. Yeah, he's great. So if somebody out there is thinking, you know what, this might be a dog I want to take a chance on, he's definitely going to need some positive reward-based obedience training and somebody who really can invest in his future. He's going to be a great dog, but he's not going to be a dog for everybody. A home with no small kids is essential. I wouldn't put him in a home with cats or other small animals. And he's just looking for somebody who really wants to invest in a dog that needs a person. He's been with us for months and months. So. Someone we're so glad that we're able to feature too, him I right think. now. Yeah, what was that, Mandy? I said someone with a big treat budget, too. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Perhaps a cheese maker. <laughs> there we go. We have a lot of them in uh, this area. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, see, now this is breaking my heart. This is the hardest cafe critters ever because I just want to. I just want to pet him and love him up. But isn't it great that we're able to feature him now? Yeah. So again, silver lining to the whole pandemic situation we're going through. Oh, he's a good boy. He's learning. He he's learning he how is. to be a good boy. Okay, his name is Graham. Now, 
If, if this thing is working the way it's supposed to, then somebody out there right now just fell in love with Graham other than me and might be interested in adopting him. So, again, what, what, do, we, what do we need to do now if we want to adopt a critter? All right. So as Derek tries to figure out how to get the camera back on me, boy, Derek, you're, Derek Spielberg is what we're calling him now. He's doing Derek a great needs job. Derek cheese, too. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, Derek, we'll give, Megan will share some cheese with you, Derek. Thank you. So, Good, Derek. <laughs> If anyone's interested in adopting, what we encourage you to do is go to whatcomehumane.org. You can download a dog adoption application, and you can even email it to us at adoptions at whatcomehumane.org. And when it is safe to do so, right now we want everyone staying at home. We want to get through this right now. But when it's safe to do so, we'll start calling folks in and scheduling adoption applications. And who knows, Graham may be your new best friend. Awesome. Okay. Well... This whole thing we're in right now is heartbreaking for so many reasons, and knowing that Graham and other critters like him are kind of stuck there right now is sure one of those reasons. It's tough. We're so lucky that our volunteers have fostered so many animals, and our staff are just doing double duty, making sure we do play groups and enrichment and getting the animals out and loved. But we are really looking forward to getting life back to normal, whatever that is. Yeah. Mm. Laura Clark, thank you so much. Thanks for jumping through all these hoops to show us a critter. It's really good to be able to meet a critter again. Oh, well, no problem. Thank you guys for hanging in there with us, and we'll all get through it together. That's right. And you can see the video that we're shooting right now on Zoom. It is available at cafe.com. Laura Clark, thank you so much. Have a great week, everyone. Bye. Bye.